She became a leader in the civil rights movement at just six years old. Meet Ruby Bridges. Ruby grew up in New Orleans. Her parents, sharecroppers from Tylertown, Mississippi, moved there in the late 50s in search of a better life. The racially divided city had been ordered to integrate its public schools. Ruby would be the first and only black student to attend William France Elementary. November 14, 1960 would be Ruby's first day. Federal marshals escorted her to school past the throngs of protesters. Teachers at the school refused to instruct her, and parents kept their children at home until the school provided a separate classroom for white students. I actually attended uh, this all-white school alone for a whole year. I sat in an empty classroom with a teacher that um, was white who came from Boston to teach me because teachers in New Orleans refused to teach black children. Meanwhile, Ruby didn't miss a day of school that year. In 1996, she was reunited with her teacher, Barbara Henry. It was so wonderful to have a little student like Ruby. We had a grand time together, I think, side by side, okay. the, just the two of us. Ruby's courage inspired Norman Rockwell to feature her in this iconic painting, which Barack Obama hung outside the Oval Office in 2011. It's fair to say that if it hadn't been for you guys, I might not be here and we wouldn't be looking at this together. Once I saw that painting, I realized that there, were, there was something much bigger than myself. So I think that that sort of put me on my quest to tell my story and to work with kids. Today, Ruby travels the country speaking to young people, inspiring them, and sharing her truth, which is as relevant today as it was in 1960.